Here's a quick tip on removing pieces of clips in Pro Tools that are intended to be silenced. Now in this example, I have a voiceover that I recorded previously. And you can even kind of see here between my voiceover tracks, there's little bits of noise. They could be my breath, they could be me moving in my chair or a mouse click, or even some room noise. And I want to get rid of those. Now you can have a very similar set of problems with music. For example, if you're overdubbing, you might get headphone bleed through into your microphone. Or if you're playing in a room with other musicians and your part is silent, your instrument mic might be picking up some of their performance. So generally we want to try to minimize that. There's a few ways that we can do this. I could go to the mix window and insert a expander gate. But in many cases, especially with audio where there's a lot of dynamic range, that doesn't always work properly. I could also manually edit by using my selector tool, make my selection, and clear that silent portion. Now you can see as I go through a long voiceover or narration track, that would take me a long time. Another option would be to use volume automation and use my trimmer tool to simply turn down a selection. If I have a long voiceover or musical performance, that could take quite a while. So what I'd like to do is use strip silence. I'll start by selecting the entire clip or track, and then I can go to my edit window and choose strip silence. In the window that appears, there are a few parameters we want to work with. First, we'll look at the strip threshold. Now this is kind of like the threshold on an expander gate. As I adjust this up or down, I'm telling Pro Tools that any audio below a certain volume in decibels should be stripped or considered silence. So I'll get this threshold pretty close. I'm pretty close here, so what I can do is adjust my clip start and clip end pad. The clip start pad tells Pro Tools whether or not to clip everything below the threshold right away or just give it a little extra time at the beginning so nothing gets cut off. I can do the same thing for the clip end pad. Again, by slightly increasing it, I can make sure that nothing gets lopped off. Now let's look at our three options to complete the process. I could extract, which means I'm extracting only the silence. I don't really want that. I could separate, which means I'm making new clips, clips of audio and clips of silence. I don't really want that. The simplest thing to do is to choose strip. And you'll see that in most cases, the silence has been removed. Now this is not destructive, so if I found I cut something off a little bit too soon, I can still fine tune that with my trimmer tool to shorten or extend the clip. And even if I do have to make a couple of tweaks, it's still a great time saver for removing silence. Thanks for watching.